Hello once again, my many viewers of YouTube, as I come on here to share more information and um, of course talk about what's going on in our world as far as the really bad and horrible economy that we that is uh, facing our country as far as our country's future and of course the many more different things that we must prepare for. First of all, before I begin with this segment of the heavy artillery, I want to thank all of you that sent me uh, these videos with very important information and helpful information as far as linking the information that you send to the prophetic events that's to come. So highly appreciate it. You know, I don't really have time to review them and respond immediately to each and every one of you like I want. But trust me, I definitely will respond when I do have the time. Be so busy throughout the week, the only time I had to respond or interact is on the weekend. So I'm definitely reading y'all comments and checking out y'all videos when I get the chance. So you do know it is not idle. But um, getting right to the heavy artillery going, of course, with the economy. Starting off with his tongue about banks being nationalized. Now you know banks being nationalized automatically leads to the one world government. Of course you know that. It also leads to the mark of the beast. The very, the very chip I believe that's what it's called. Leading to that. And it's also leading to the great multitude that's going to follow after Obama which the one world government up under Obama. Leading back to the spirit of Nimrod. Now it's time, people, do, 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 for the heavy artillery. Now let me go and break it down for you so you can be blown back in your seats. As I always try to leave you, and you can go tell your friends and family, or you can get them to watch this video blog and say, Watch how he breaks it down, and you'll see he's telling the truth, and it makes so much sense. Okay, I hate that my camera, you know, we fiddles and fellows, you know, one minute show crystal clear, next minute it seemed like it's not lighted enough, at least to me anyways, but anyways, getting right to the main thing. Now when it comes to the one world government, of course the financial banking system, the universal financial banking system, a global uh, banking system, of course, is already part of the one world government. And of course, in order to come, become a part of this global banking system, it's going to lead to that chip where you won't be able to buy or sell. Because not only is it going to come to, of course, the global banking system, but also the markets, period. The markets, period, where you can't buy or sell without the chip. It's going to lead to that. The chip is also, I guess I'm starting with the chip first. The chip is also going to lead to prevent identity theft and also those who are part or civilians in a country because we have so many illegal immigrants not only coming in America but coming in in other countries as well so by having a chip they can track who are actual civilians in the countries and who are illegal immigrants so there's one way to prevent illegal immigrants is the very, the very chip so that's where the chip gonna come into play. One, the banking system. Two, identity death. Three, illegal immigrants. And four, uh, I just had it in my mind. Ah, four is uh, man, it slipped my mind just that quick. But I shift on, so I won't lose time here. But yeah, those are the three main ones right off as far as what the chip can lead to identity theft the illegal immigrants and the banking system as far as oh yeah social security that was number four social security those four things what the chip is going to be tied to and indeed it's going to narrow down to that chip because written documents how people can get access to your bank accounts just like they tapped in a Sarah Palin's email a lot of people in the CIA are monitoring and managing these things and it is going to boil down to the chip to try to narrow a lot of these problems and complications they have with keeping people's privacy and 
the way they're going to try to keep people's privacy is narrowing it down to their chip being injected into our hands. And they figured, hey, nobody can get access to it. And there would be a computerized chip on locked in a computer. Only between you and a computer, how they can get your information. But other than that, no hacking into the system, da da da. So that's what a chip come into. Number two, as far as the one world government thing, the universal health care and the global banking system of course I already explained leading to the chip but if they agree to a global banking system and universal health care they agree to this one where a government where who is going to be the president at the time of this agreement that is soon about to come into a pass the person that will be in president at the time will be Obama now, I already explained the chip in a one world government. Now, let's go back to Obama. Obama is admired by the whole world. Correct? Correct. The whole world admires Obama. Not every individual, but a majority of everybody in each country, each state, city, etc., admires Obama. When Obama took a world tour, he was highly admired. They looked at him already like he was president. So, if Obama is president, and Obama, which he will, and is going to come soon, is sometime during his term, signs a peace treaty that one world government will be effective and the chip won't necessarily be effective. Only those who not been paying attention or not been studying and reading up like they should will accept the mark of the beast, will accept the chip those of us who are spiritually aware will sort of find some way to resist possibly even have to monitor who knows but those things will all link and come into play under Obama okay one real government universal health care you know the chip Obama Obama is the head over all this because it is the United States government that shall be the head over all the rest of the governments because right now China and all that is dependent on the United States government for a solution or answer to how to fix this economic crisis so if Obama is the head he the president and we got a one world government we got a global financial uh, system we got universal health care and we got the marks of the beast uh, these chips in all of the countries all of the unions these chips placed in the people is to prevent identity theft people not able to buy or sell without the chip in their body nor would they be able to be able to uh, be tracked or information of being a system without the, the chip in their body link it to social security so Think about it for a second. You got all these doc. That's a whole lot of paperwork to keep up with everybody in the world under a one world government system, right? That's a whole lot of paperwork. So, what solution would they use to try to narrow down that paperwork? Chips. Narrow down that big, thick stack of paperwork, your tax information, your birthright, all of that birth certificate da 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 narrow it all down into a little tiny chip where it has all of your information on the chip everything and by them creating a multiple number of these chips and all the individual will cause the government to be able to better keep track of everybody in the world because of the chip that my friends is the heavy artillery that is shifting in that direction as I speak you all are witnessing witnessing I'm witnessing it I've been foresaw it in the first place and I'm just coming on here doing the will of God and doing my job to help give you insight and inform you so I hope there was very helpful information to kind of enlighten you on what's to come and as always, peace be unto you and Christ for life.